Hello and welcome back to Matty's Tottenham blog and to another episode of Tottenham Hotspur Transfer Talk. Today we're going to be talking about Tottenham's new centre-back target should their final bid for Milan Skriniar fail. Uh, the target is Mary Demerall who currently plays for Juventus. Uh, we'll be talking a bit about him. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel and you want more of this content, including interactive fan live streams, uh, general Tottenham analysis videos and a big, big deadline day uh, live stream coming on Monday, uh, we're going to be doing a few giveaways, we're going to be raising money for the Justin Edinburgh 3 Foundation and we're going to be bringing on dozens of guests throughout the day from the world of YouTube, Twitter and podcasts. Uh, so make sure to subscribe if you do want uh, to be reminded about that uh, live stream on Monday. So to dive straight into things, uh, it's Alistair Gold who is telling us today that Tottenham are preparing a final approach for Milan Skriniar over the weekend. Uh, I think the, the general feeling around the club has been uh, this the potential for this move to be completed has depended quite a bit on our success last night against Maccabee Haifa. Uh, we've been getting a massive or a, a big financial bonus. I think it's about 15 million euro uh, for qualifying for the group stage of the Europa League. So that could potentially uh, be the money that brings this uh, screenier deal over the line. Uh, we're expecting to see the announcement of Carlos Vinicius today. That's on a, an initial loan deal for only 3 million euro. So I don't think that will affect this screenier deal at all. I think any money we do get uh, will be pumped into the screenier deal and trying to get it over the line. Um, look, of course, we, we do want to get Skriniar. He's our number one choice. He's Mourinho's number one choice. Uh, he wants to move to Spurs. He is ideally the player that we will get in, but it's it's encouraging to see that something that hasn't really happened in the past, if we don't get a number one target, we have identified uh, an equally an equally brilliant uh, backup option, and that this summer is the Juventus centre-back, Mary Demaral. Uh, he's a 22-year-old Turkish centre-back, as I said, who plays with uh, the Italian champions Juventus. He's been identified as a, ch as a second-choice signing if Milan Skriniar move fails. Uh, his name's kind of been floating around the press in the last couple of days, but nothing too reliable. But it's Alistair Gold, as I said, coming out today and saying that he will be uh, our second choice if we can't bring in Skriniar. He has only played seven uh, league games for the old lady. Uh, he, he signed, I think, in, in 2019, but... The, the worrying thing for him is he did suffer uh, an anterior cruciate ligament injury very early on in his time at Juventus and subsequently his playing time has been absolutely slashed. I think he he picked this up last December and he was only back in action on the 1st of August in uh, what I assume was a friendly or potentially the Champions League games. Uh, so worrying that there is that sort of injury uh, record there so recent as well and at only 22 uh, any recurring injury could be detrimental to his career. Um, according to whoscored.com, he's a very, very talented centre-back. His strengths include aerial duels, uh, taking set pieces, which you don't often see in a centre-back, and tackling as well. And his style of play, he likes to likes short passes, and this is something I've been speaking about. It's been a, a consistent feature in the defenders we have been identifying as potential signings this summer. And Milan Skriniar, Ruben Diaz, Kim and Jay, and now Mary Demerell. I think Antonio Rudiger kind of uh, an outlier in that list, but we're, we want to bring in ball-playing centre-backs, and he certainly fits that bill. He's a, an indirect set-piece threat. He's he, he doesn't mess about when he when he has to clear the ball he clears the ball which is you know obviously very very good you want that in a defender a bit worrying he does commit fouls quite often but you, you could look past that he's a very young defender he's still learning he's still learning his own game as well as other people's games so look as 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 far as second choice signings go I think he's he's a very very good player to have identified of course we still want Milan Skriniar um I think every, every Spurs fan will be in in the same um in the same boat on that one so. We're, we're in for a very exciting end to this window. Uh, I'm expecting this Carlos Vinicius deal to be announced uh, today, if not today, uh, tomorrow. I think we will see it announced before deadline day because you know we want to get that one out of the way and focus solely on this Milan Skriniar deal. As uh, Gold says, we're going to be approaching this again at the weekend. So this one, I think, could drag on uh, right up to the, right up to the deadline on Monday evening. Um, look, leave down in the comments below uh, your opinions on, on this little update. Uh, Mary Demerell as a replacement. If you still want this Milan Skriniar deal, and of course... Uh, your, your thoughts on this Carlos Vinicius deal which is uh, nearing completion he's having his medical today uh, if you haven't enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and as I've said look big big live stream on Monday raising raising money for an absolutely exceptional cause uh, we bring it on as I said guests I think we have We Are Tottenham TV booked in and hopefully getting Chris Cowell and Georgia Killia as well and that's just from the world of YouTube we have people from, coming from Twitter and podcasts as well uh, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and, and check out the stream on Monday we'll be going all day from about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning right through till after the 11pm deadline, so make sure to, to pop in at some, at some point. You might even win something in one of the giveaways. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.